EA Sports. It's in the game. You're walking down a busy street, traffic and chatter filling your ears, and amidst the noise you hear a familiar jingle playing from a nearby storefront. You may not even realize it, but you've just been exposed to sonic branding. In today's world, companies have to go beyond just visuals to stand out. They need to make an impact on our ears as well as our eyes. From the iconic iPhone ringtone to the dishwasher's melody, let's look at how they use sound to get you to buy more stuff. What is sonic branding? Now, in the simplest terms, these are the sounds associated with the brand. It could be your Netflix intro sounds, it could be an iPhone ringtone, or the sound of a toy like Furby. Me Amanda. Me Mela. Me Amanda. That's Furby. Remember them? Now, sonic branding can be created for products, adverts, films, games, TV shows, entertainment. As a sound producer now working on True Crime podcasts, I often think of each show's sonic branding. It's all about the sound. It's part of creating the full experience. A hotel, a restaurant will have a sonic branding. Same with a gym. For example, a family gym will have a different sonic scape to a CrossFit or martial arts gym. So sonic branding is part of effective marketing and has to align with other elements, the visuals, the tone, the message. Even a YouTube channel and your favorite YouTuber will have their own branding with sound. Something that fits that overall look. Sonic branding is important because it helps build greater brand attention. Sound can often trigger emotional responses far better than visuals. And listening to a recognizable sound we got this. makes for better brand recall. It initiates the memory in our brains. Like think about McDonald's jingle or the Intel logo. Even if you aren't super familiar with them, they sound familiar, like we've heard them all before. But it's not just about the jingles, it's the whole vibe. Look and listen to car commercials. Search Hyundai. You have arrived at your destination. Hyundai is family friendly, light hearted, big cheeky, funny. Oh, it's Hyundai, by the way. Compare it to Polestar. Which goes more Apple. High tech, minimalistic, sophisticated. Now the Sonic branding reflects that. And if we switch the music between these two ads, it wouldn't make sense. Because with great Sonic branding, comes great responsibility. The sound itself can become a viral phenomenon. Batman's gruff voice is now so recognizable it would be weird if Batman spoke in just a normal, casual tone. Where's the milk and cookies? Or think of James Bond in the classic spy thriller Sonic branding we expect when the new movie comes out. Of course, it's good to experiment, but Stray too far from the audience's expectations, and there can be backlash. And that goes especially for music bands when they try something new. We all know Metallica wasn't the same after Kill Em All. Going back to more commercial uses, with Sonic branding, you want to build a sense of familiarity and trust. So the sound can trigger these positive associations with your brand. When we think of banks, we may think of greed, insane profits, psychopaths. But looking at their ads, it's all happiness, family and good vibes. That's how they want their customers to see them. Of course, engaging customer experience is top priority for companies and sometimes their audio logos have become embedded 
in society, influencing trends and becoming part of our collective consciousness. Remember Windows 95 sound? by Brian Eno, apparently he made a lot of money from it. It's like three seconds. So how are these classic sounds created? The T-Mobile jingle is a short, high-pitched melody that evokes excitement and joy. The sound is simple but effective, and it has helped to make T-Mobile into a well-known brand. The Green Giant Sonic logo is a jingle. With a gentle voice and fun notes, the sound is designed to appeal to children and make them think of a green giant as a friendly character. In all these cases, the Sonic logos were created using simple sounds and melodies. However, they were carefully chosen to evoke the desired emotions in the target audience and to make us buy more stuff. When a Sonic logo is well designed, it can instantly make people think of the brand it represents. For example, when you hear the farmer's insurance jingle, we are farmers, bum, 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 bum. you probably think of farmers or insurance. The same is true for NBC's three note tones. McDonald's, I'm loving it, and on and on and on. The best audio signatures are short, catchy, memorable. People can easily sing them back and recognize them instantly. That's what makes them so effective. Of course, sonic branding is not just about the ads, but a well-designed soundscape is an essential part of our living experience. Sound is a big part of how we interact and perceive the world.